In this example, we are being asked to subtract 1 from an algebraic fraction. This will work the same way as the other subtractions and additions we have seen. And the first step is the same as usual. We have to factor all the expressions completely. The expression on the top here is a simple trinomial. We are being asked what two numbers multiply to give negative 2 and add to give negative 1. They are negative 2 and 1, so this factors to a minus 2, a plus 1. On the bottom, we have another simple trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give 1 and add to give 2? They are positive 1 and positive 1, so this factors to a plus 1, a plus 1. But this fraction can be simplified. So if we want to make the rest of our problem easier, we cancel the a plus 1 on top and bottom right away, and we convert this question into a minus 2 over a plus 1 minus 1. Now it's time to form our common denominator. 1 can be seen as a fraction 1 over 1. The lowest common denominator of 1 and a plus 1 is a plus 1. So we want both fractions to be over the common denominator a plus 1. The first fraction does not change. The second fraction expands to a plus 1 over a plus 1. Now we combine our numerators into a single fraction over the common denominator. a minus 2 minus, and then in brackets I write a plus 1, and I simplify my numerator. I have a minus 2 minus a minus 1 over a plus 1. When I simplify further, these a's cancel. a minus a is 0. And I have minus 2 minus 1, which combines to minus 3, still over the common denominator, a plus 1. This fraction cannot be simplified further. There are no more cancelling opportunities, so I am finished. The final answer for this subtraction is negative 3 over a plus 1.